actually now that I have adjust my posture because you're taller than me. <laughs> so plan yeah. is uh, we can do one hour on this. <laughs> I don't go out anymore. I've been catching up on the video games. Uh, I still have to wake up early because it's September. So I'm still far away. Still the same. You see, painted it in June 2018. So you can change in the restroom. Really, we'll shoot around this little tiny park here. Right, that's when you wake up in the morning. I don't want to go to work, but I gotta go to work. And shooting with Jasmine here. And I noticed because she's wearing her shades, it's not picking up her, the face eye detection isn't working so well. But when she takes off, there we go. It picks up her face as well as her eyes. But you can use the shade still. I'll just use the focus point to uh, Jasmine's eye. Posing like this. Okay, body if you can't, good, just like that. Hey everyone, I have with me today the Fujifilm GF 63mm f2.8 lens and I hope you can hear me because we are right on the street in Tuman. This is like the main tourist area of Guam and the model to help me test this lens out today is Jasmine Wenzel. And Jasmine, I've heard from numerous people that you're Guam's most famous model. Uh, <laughs> I like I've to put her on the spot. I've never heard that before, but to each their own. Jasmine and I are good friends. We uh, taught in the same school together. Yeah. So along the video, if you see me teasing her a bit, that's because um, I do know her on a personal level. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for helping me test out this lens today. And so far, we've shot maybe about 30, 40 photos. Yeah. Uh, how are you liking the photos from this lens so far? And I'll show you some while you talk about it. You gotta wake it up first. Here we go. It looks amazing. Wow. I like how it's so clear. Yes, this lens wide open at 2.8, let me zoom in on your face, is very sharp and clear. Mm -hmm. And I know it doesn't really blur the background that much, um, but on the previous shots where I did get like closer shots right. of you, like half body shots, it does blur the background, okay, mm -hmm. decently. But I yeah. like the face detector where it detects your face. Yes. And then it works with that. Yes. I've never worked with a camera like that before. Yes, this camera does it pretty good, but earlier I had to have you take it off in order for it to really right. work. Uh, but with your shades on, I just used the, the focus point. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, but we still have about an hour left to go. So we're going to move down to shoot in Tumon and shoot in front of uh, a mural. Can't wait. Let's do it. I never put my Instagram on YouTube. I said that one video. The background clear. Okay. 
one tanker. Okay, so we're shooting in front of this uh, mural. It is painted by Tristan Eaton. I'll give you a link for his Instagram, but his Instagram is Tristan Eaton. One, two, and three. And it is actually a mural of uh, Guam's uh, hometown hero. I'm gonna read this from his Instagram. Uh, he put, Tristan put, I'm very proud to debut my mural my Guam's, of Guam's hometown hero and Chamar warrior, John Tuck. So that's actually uh, John Tuck from UFC. One, two, and three. A couple more. Very good. One, two, and three. So first impressions about this lens is it feels great in the hands. It's pretty small, in my opinion, for a medium format lens. And it fits perfectly on the GFX 50R. There is no stabilization, no IS on the lens, and no IBIS and body image stabilization for the 50R. So you do need to keep the shutter speed uh, pretty high, maybe one one hundredth of a second. One, two, and three. And I do notice something about this lens is the focusing, it moves, the lens itself actually moves front and back by itself. Uh, it's not internal focusing where the LMS just uh, move, but the whole lens itself moves back and forth. It's not really internal, like a lot of lenses. One, two, and three. Three, four. Can you lower down your left hand just a little bit on the jacket? Good, okay. One, two, three, four. Other physical features of this lens is it has a minimum focusing distance of 1.64 feet. And the filter thread is around 62 millimeters. And the weight of this is very light at 4.3 ounces, not even a pound. Do what? Smile, smile. <laughs> It looks good on you. It fits. It's fitted. Beyond the box. I'm going to talk about this camera while Jasmine changes into her second outfit. Some positives is the 63 millimeter on a medium format prop sensor goes down to a standard lens of 50 millimeter uh, equivalency to a full frame camera. It has a hydrophobic fluorine coating in the front, so it actually uh, repels moisture and water on the front element of this lens. It is dust and weather sealed, and it can actually go as low as 14 degrees Fahrenheit in the cold weather. And what's pretty cool is the aperture ring around the lens. You can actually change the aperture through that or if you put it to C, and uh, C means uh, command position, and it is actually camera-based control over the lens itself, so you can actually change the aperture of the lens through the dials on the camera. This lens has nine rounded diaphragm blades, so the bouquet in this is pretty smooth. It has 10 elements in about eight groups. One, two, and three. You're going to uh, look out towards that direction, so your body's... Okay. Camera. Very good. Oh. That's a lot of people. Holy moly, Buffy was right. And we have another fundraiser. How do we do boomerangs on three? One, two, and three.
you have your right hand pressed to sing on. One more. All right, we are done with our photo shoot with Jasmine. And as you can see, she is in her second outfit and has a colorful flower print. And so we used the walkway uh, behind the hotel to take some shots with um, Jasmine in her dress matching the um, flowers and plants. Mm -hmm. And the lighty stones. And the lighty stones, yes, we used the lighty stones as well. And also, we didn't go on the beach because there's a lot of tourists on the beach and it was pretty crowded. But we were up here on the platform and got some of the sky and a little bit of the blues of the beach. Um, and I think it all goes well with your outfit. Everything um, pulled together really well. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Cool. Overall, pictures from the lens, how do you like it? I think it's really amazing. I mean, even when you zoom in, it's still, it's still it's really clear. It holds your sharpness, yeah. It holds your sharpness. I think all lenses for the... Uh, GFX, which is um, the camera, GFX 50R. All lenses made for the system, I think they're pretty sharp, wide open. And most of the pictures, if you see 2.8, 2 it's been shot wide open. And yeah, like you said, even when zooming in, it doesn't like my finger. Every time I double tap, maybe, maybe I have to maybe zoom in I'll like take that. Mine. <laughs> oh, we have to zoom out first. Yeah, it doesn't like mine either. I don't know, I think it's just because it's humid out here. I don't know, but zooming in all the way. As you can see, it is very sharp. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Very sharp, wide open at 2.8. Yeah. Yes, that's a good thing about the mean for my system. Colors are good. Uh, you get maximum detail. You basically buy into the system for the maximum image quality. Anything else you want to say? Oh, your Instagram. Oh, right. You want people to follow you on social yeah. media? Okay. So follow me, Jazzy Wenzy. That's J A Z Z Y W E N Z Z Y for Jasmine Wenzel. If you want to follow me and see more pictures. There's a lot of Z's in that name. <laughs> but of course, I'm going to put it on right here on screen in the description below so people can follow you. Mm -hmm. And overall, how do you like the photo shoot before you wrap things up? I think it was really fun. You're always fun to work with. Thank and you. I'm glad that we work together. Yes, I think we've been trying for, <laughs> for how two many years. years? <laughs> 2016? To work on this. Yeah. Two and a half years to work on this. So now that I'm on break um, from teaching, I can yeah. do the photo shoot. Cool. And it thank you so pleasure. much again. Thank you. Aww. But maybe before summer's over, we'll try to work together again. Yeah. yeah so another one coming soon. <laughs> uh, please subscribe if you want to see that. <laughs> thank you, everyone. See you guys. Bye. All right, let's look at some raw files. I'm not gonna focus too much on highlight recovery or um, shadow recovery. That's because it's uh, focusing on the sensor qualities, but I wanna focus on the lens quality. So Fujifilm GF 63 millimeter 2.8. This is shot wide open at F 2.8. Zooming in, and this is a raw file unedited one to one. Wow, this is very, very sharp. Just like the GF 45 millimeter, it is very sharp. You can count every single eyelash on Jasmine's uh, eye. And just look at her shades. You can see where it's made and the model number. And this is one to one. If we do two to one, you can even see much more clear, clearly where it's made at the model number. And it is very, is resolving a lot of detail. Let's go back to uh, one to one. The uh, bokeh I think could be a little bit better. Uh, but remember, uh, this is shot wide open at 2.8 and this is a 3 fourth body shot, but it'll get better once we get closer to our subject, our model. Uh, next example I want to show you, uh, let me check if this is unedited. Uh, once again, uh, zooming in one to one, it is very sharp on Jasmine's left eye. Uh, look at the bouquet here, a little bit of cat eyeing that I'm seeing towards the edge, but a lot of lenses do um, have that. But to me, the bokeh is smooth and it does give a 3D pop. Uh, one of my favorite photos, and I know I don't have like a super close-up shot of Jasmine. I'm looking for it actually right now. Uh, maybe here. This is probably uh, uh, the closest I got. Me right here. 
There we go. Yeah, and shooting against the sun. Uh, bokeh again is good, pleasing. Uh, if you notice, there's no CA, no chromatic aberrations in her hair. It is very, very well controlled. And this is shooting against uh, the sun, which is uh, almost settings around 5, 530, and is very harsh. Uh, really excellent lens. One of my favorite shots is this right here, and this has been edited. And I notice when I'm editing files, the raw files actually get sharper. So if you zoom in, look at that. Very sharp. You can see every strand of hair, every eyelash, just even go into the one. Very sharp. Really detailed. Uh, uh, you know, paired with the GFX sensor, 50 megapixels, you're getting so much detail. This lens, uh, I think. Uh, if you are into getting into the GFX system and you're just buying the body only, you should definitely get this 63mm lens. It is a standard 50mm on full frame equivalency. And just walking around Tumon with the 50R on Guam and doing some street photography with Jasmine uh, is very excellent. It's not so big. It's a perfect size. Yeah, the lens does go in and out, but that's just going to go away. It's not going to bother you anymore, as it kind of bothered me in the beginning. but. Just keep in mind, you're getting excellent sharpness at 2.8, no chromatic aberrations, and overall, it's just a really well-performing lens, and focus isn't bad either. Actually, I found it focusing faster than my Pentax uh, 55mm 2.8 lens. Thank you everyone for watching Guam Photography, and please subscribe.